Hi everyone, welcome back to Creatively Craft a Life. This is Melanie and today we are taking apart the Country Home Paper Pad from Park Lane. This is a really cool paper pad. It comes not just with foil, which is pretty much standard nowadays. It also includes vellum, linen, and mulberry paper. I haven't heard of mulberry paper in a long time. Um, I think I actually mentioned it when I went through my specialty papers and maybe it's making a comeback. Okay, so let me show you what kits I put together from this paper pad. So my jumping off point for this kit was the yellow floral and I combined it with this yellow geometric which is a lot of yellow. So I threw in this green, a solid green. Now, yes, this paper pad does come with solid cardstock. Not my favorite thing in a paper pad, but I probably paid about $5.99 for this paper pad and it had 24 sheets, so I'm not too terribly upset about it. This paper, uh, the cardstock is two-toned, so it does have two different shades of whatever color is featured, and I can live with that. And so if you intermix this green in between these two patterns, all of a sudden, I think this looks much better and will definitely work for a layout. And then just to zhuzh it up a little bit, so to speak, I threw in the foiled vellum. It is this geometric, and I'm just gonna throw it on top of the screen so you can see the pattern. I think this would be a fun layering piece. I probably wouldn't end up using this entire sheet on a layout, and so any scraps that I have left over, I could easily add to another paper kit from this collection, or I could just throw it into my stash when done. This next piece features this kind of vintage wallpaper kind of looking paper. At least that's what I think of when I look at it. I'm sure in the 1970s my mom had some sort of wallpaper similar to this and probably in some of those colors like this olive green. I would probably use this sparingly just because of the type of pattern it is, but I do love the color combination. I love the yellow with the blue. To me, that's just always a fun and cheerful combination. I did pair it with this linen paper and in this blue, so it is flimsy, right? It is linen. Show you. I don't know if you can see the texture. You can hear it. It's definitely uh, got a fabric feel to it. And I really love these two together. Uh, this really draws out the blue in this pattern. The scale of this is significantly smaller than this, so that really works. And then I did throw in the solid yellow with this one, and it does come with a brown on the back. I'm not too sure about the brown in this collection, but it's in there. So I probably wouldn't use the brown. I'm pretty sure I would use the yellow. And again, just probably as layering pieces or matting for my photos. And then to finish it off, I threw in this foil sheet, which has um, the words, a home is built with love and dreams. And it is cream based. This is cream based. Again, I would probably use this quite sparingly. Okay, this next kit features the floral, this time in the, in the gray blue or the blue gray, however you want to call it. I love this color. I love having the lighter blue with the darker blue. I think that looks really striking. And so, of course, I had to choose a dark blue to go with this. This has a little bit of foiling in it, just in the dots. To me, this is the perfect amount of foiling. <laughs> I like just a little hint of it, um, not in your face. So this would easily work with that. I think that would look quite striking. I did throw in, uh, there's this vellum in the green. Not sure yet exactly how I would use it, probably as a layering piece. I don't know if you can see the pattern. So I did throw that in, and then from the colored cardstock, I threw in this very light green. So it's not the same green in here, and in fact, this green isn't really in this paper. Maybe like in the lightest shades of the leaves, but because I threw in the vellum, I just think it works. The next kit features that same blue floral again. This time I did pair it with the dark green solid. I really like that. And I threw in this dark blue. No foil on those. I think that will make a great page. 
And I also threw in the light blue gray colored cardstock. The other side is the dark, so I could definitely use both, but I did pick it for the light gray or the light blue. And then of course, cause you know, why not? I threw in that foiled word paper as well. So this next inspiration page is the cut aparts and the back side of these cut aparts are generic, which is fantastic. I love this idea and I hope they do this more often. You know, have something decorative, but then have a generic on the other side. I just think it makes these papers way more versatile. I have that yellow and blue wallpaper, I'm calling it. I threw in this green with the small vines on it. It's okay. It's not my favorite. Sometimes you just, you know have to challenge yourself to use things in a different way. The back side of this is this yellow lace and that would totally work. So, but I did pick it for the green. And then there's another sheet of this linen paper. This time it is with these yellow and green flowers on them. Again, not sure that I love these patterns together. So what I did is I threw in a couple sheets of solid just to help break things up. So there was a wood grain in this green. The back side is the yellow floral, so I've got options. And I threw in the yellow, solid yellow, and the back side is the brown, which again, I'm not too sure about. So here's what throwing in a more solid color does for you, right? So if you add that, and then add this, it just breaks the patterns up and makes them work a little bit better. Or if you wanted to go more monochromatic, you could do something like that. It works, it's not my favorite, I'm gonna be honest. Um, we'll see how it goes. If I find that I'm not leaning towards using this kit at some point, I can always break it down and reintroduce it into my stash. So that wallpaper also comes in blue and I have to admit that I actually prefer this over the yellow and blue. I just think this looks more striking. Even though it's the exact same pattern, it's just a different colorway. I threw in the cut aparts with this one as well. And I threw in this blue, which is an interesting shade of blue because this doesn't really exist in any of the pattern paper. But I think when you look at this as a whole with this, it's okay. It's, um, you can make it work is what it is. And then I threw in the dark blue solid and this side has the light gray blue. So if we throw that in like that and then the cut apart, that's the kit. So for this last kit, I have this floral again. This time it's on a dark background. It is that linen, so floppy. It's that fabric feel. I combine that with this green with the white vine. I really like this combination. Uh, of course the green's picking up in here and the white just, or the white or the off-white just adds a little bit of brightness. I did pair it with this dark blue, even though this is on a dark blue background, and this is starting to read a little bit dark for my taste. So to balance that off, I threw in the off-white solid. The back side is this light green, which would also work. So you could do that or this, but I really picked it for this just to kind of brighten things up a little bit. So what did I have left? The mulberry paper was in brown. I don't understand the brown. <laughs> So needless to say, I did not use this in any kit. This will go in my stash. I had uh, the dark blue vine and I have two sheets of that. The other side is brown. This is just gonna go in my blue section of my 12 by 12 card stuff. So that is how I broke down Country Home from Park Lane. I hope you enjoyed the flip through of the papers and how I combine them. And until next time, happy crafting.